I'm sitting on the uh, on ramp of I-29. I'm going to go on a range test. I'm going to do it at 57 miles an hour or 90 kilometers an hour. And the gum, which is right here, if you can see it, says that I have 281 miles of range. Which, keep in mind that I just bought this car yesterday. This is May 30th. And I have 80% charge. I charged up last night. And what we are going to do is go to climate, which is this button right here. Climate. And it's off. I do not want any uh, for a range test. I'm going to do two range tests, 90 kilometers and 120, which is 72 miles an hour. I have my GPS, which will get the actual reading of what goes on. I have it, I need to reset it down to zero. So I might have to mathematically figure this out. But anyway, I'm on I-29, I'm going to be heading south. I reset this. Resets the driving data. And unfortunately, I can't get EV notified to work in this car yet. Um, they have more success in Europe with the ID4. So, this is an ID4. It has a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack. 77 hour kilowatt hour battery pack. And so let me just stop I see if I was okay because I'm stopped on the on-ramp. And we have 80%. So we might have to do the math because this thing might not be that accurate. I'm going to reset it again. And we're going to be off. And I'm going to be putting it in B mode. And double checking the speed. And it makes some weird noises up to about 20, 21 miles an hour. A separate video of the things I like about the car and some of the things I do not like about the car but that will be for another video okay as soon as I get it set cruise control buttons are right here as soon as I see 57 miles an hour which is right now that says 57 see that but that says 57 also it's a 75 mile an hour speed limit and we're off a couple things I want to point out as we travel down south the car is pretty quiet the only thing I really hear is the road noise from the tires now we're on asphalt though so I don't know if you could hear that but it's a very quiet car quieter than our Chevrolet Bull at this point uh, it's just, I think it's better insulated from wind noise, and that's probably where I get the most noise from the Chevrolet Bolt is from wind noise. As we travel down the road at 57 miles an hour, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this car, why I bought it. I uh, was watching a lot of videos about Herbert Dees. Uh, he's the CEO of Volkswagen International. He's um, quite a inspirational guy. He came from BMW and took over the development of the electrification of Volkswagen as far as the ID family, the ID3, ID4. They do not they do not sell the ID3 here in the United States. And this was the first ID4 that Volkswagen, uh, which is called Valley Imports in Fargo, North Dakota. I bought it from a, a nice gentleman named Dimitri. And uh, he would be glad to help you out with any of your Volkswagen needs and orders. Uh, he says he's got one uh, ordered. Uh, the, this is a Pro version. And the Pro S is um, the next step above this. It's probably like the first edition. And he's ordered, he ordered it for somebody from California who's going to come to Fargo and pick it up. Now a semi's going by me. 
So um, look them up. I think it's valleyimports.com. And Dimitri is the guy you really want to talk to. He's very, very knowledgeable about this Volkswagen. Uh, I think he's been there three years. So a good person to work with. But anyway, the quietness of this car is uh, nice. It's spacious. It's uh, my wife loved this. Loves this car. It's probably the best car that we've ever had. But we're going to go over that in another video about the many things I like about it and a few things I do not like about it. But we're going to continue going south at 57 miles an hour. We're approximately going about 25 miles each direction. So to neg uh, to uh, negate the wind, and right now we're averaging at 57 miles an hour, about 3.4, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, and that is not good because I have the climate control off, and it's getting warm in here. It's 63 degrees outside, and it's 9:18 in the morning on May 30th. Traveled 21 miles. I'm I'm across from the entrance ramp. Let's go over the numbers real quick. Um, the wind is picking up, so I'm only going to do the 90, uh, the 57 mile an hour range test today because yesterday we had winds 20, 30 mile an hour, and I don't want that to affect it at 72 miles an hour. But we had a stiff headwind coming here, I've been probably more than 10 miles an hour, 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, and we did travel. Exactly, 21.9 miles, I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway, we'll do the math on it, um, let's go back here to charging, okay, we use 9, we use 9% coming down here, we'll do the math on that to figure out exactly what it is, but as we head back, we should, um, uh, equalized because of the wind factor again um, I only traveled almost 22 miles and I have the AC I don't have any climate control on so that should have no effect whatsoever talk to you when I stop at the end I thought I would just give you make sure that you can see that I am going 57 I am in travel assist see right here we are going 57 miles an hour. You can see me. 57 miles an hour. And let's go back here to data. And it's showing that we're using about 3.7. It'd be interesting. I don't know what the consumption of this car is. Um, just to know the difference between the Chevrolet Bolt, which I have a LT model, and and the uh, ID4 Pro. ID4 Pro. It's not a Pro S, but it's Pro. It's cloth seats. Very comfortable interior, by the way. Uh, this has a usable 77 kilowatt hour battery. I uh, think the gross is 82 kilowatts, where a comparison with the Chevrolet Bolt, it has a 57 kilowatt hour battery pack, usable. I don't know if it really has a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, but for sure it's only 57 kilowatt hour usable, and that's new. And mine's a 2017. Now the newer ones are 64 kilowatt hour, I believe. I haven't really checked into that. Would give you about a 20 more mile range, which would be nice. So the reason why we decided to get this car was because of the 20 kilowatt hour more battery space and uh, something that we could drive back and forth to Arizona and make it. The bolt is questionable. This charges uh, to 125 kilowatts. The bolt maximum charge is 55, which I've never got out of it. I think 53 is the highest I've ever 
uh, charge that at, and that's only up to 55%. After that, it tapers off. I'll find out what the charging uh, rate is on this as we charge it up. Uh, there are no up here in, in North Dakota. We only have 62 kilowatt chargers uh, that are public. Now, of course, Tesla has their charging network, but there is a, a DC fast charger in Grand Forks, and there is one in Fargo, and they're both 62 kilowatt uh, kilowatts. So, not that I would be charging. Well, probably will. When we go to Costco, we will be driving this car. But anyway, I'll give you an update once we get to the end of our little journey here. We completed our round trip. We went 43.5 miles. I did the math on our first leg, and we were at 3.17 miles per kilowatt hour. This says our average has been 3.4. Let's do the math here again. So we were at 71% when we reached Drayton. Now we're at 63%. So um, let's do the math on that. Okay, I've done the math. Uh, 8% at 77 kilowatt hours usable is 6.16 uh, ki kilowatt hours. So that means that we drove 3.57 on the return leg, uh, 3.57 miles per kilowatt hour. I am going to retest this again when it's calm because the wind plays a huge factor in an electric vehicle. Um, the air pressure should have been 42 pounds, which is recommended. I usually put two more pounds Per tire I'm gonna recheck that so we will do this test again and see if we get better than um, what's the the average was let's see uh, this is saying 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour for the average and the range here is uh, says it's 212 miles left on um, 63% battery. Uh, that is an unknown factor. We'll have to test that out. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll continue this on a calm day here in North Dakota.